Hello again, everyone. The seventh sacrament is called either the anointing of the sick, probably most commonly that, or the sacrament of the sick. This is the last of these seven sacraments, and we might remind ourselves that during all the sacraments, we receive the very touch of the Lord. He is so very near us. The water in baptism, the absolution at confession, the host on our hands or tongue at communion, the blessing at a wedding, and the various anointings are all visible, and therefore physical interventions uh, from the divine and signs of the Lord's presence. Usually, nowadays, the sacrament of the sick is conferred on people who are seriously sick or will undergo an operation uh, where they will be put under, as it were. The sacrament used to be called extreme unction or the last rite, which is still suitable at times because it may very well be the last rite, certainly the last anointing, a person will receive from the church in his or her lifetime. There are some who are seriously ill and who will be for some time, and these receive great comfort from this sacrament uh, that can be administered more than once. When someone is seriously ill or dying, one should call the pastor, for, as it says in the epistle of St. James 4.14, Are there any sick among you? Then let them send for the priests, and let the priests pray over them, anointing them with oil. Only priests and bishops may administer this sacrament because even when confession is not uh, actually heard, the very anointing itself uh, absolves from sin. Contrition is assumed. All anointing by lay people, sisters or deacons should be avoided as though it is not sacramental and therefore not efficacious. A false impression may be given. It is always good for older people to receive anointing when it is offered in the parish, usually a couple of times a year. We Catholics have a notion of redemptive suffering, which is the uniting of our own suffering with that of the crucified Lord. And this is both explicitly and implicitly expressed in the sacrament of the anointing of the sick. This brings quiet joy to the hearts of many who are sick and dying. The ailing person will first be anointed on the forehead with the words, through this holy anointing may the Lord in his love and mercy help you with the grace of the Holy Spirit, and then anointed on the palms of the hands with, may the Lord who frees you from sin save you and raise you up. Priests and bishops are anointed on the backs of their hands because their palms were anointed with chrism at their ordination. So, thus is Christ with us throughout our lives on earth, holding out his hand to welcome us to eternity, but with us here and now, in and as his church and her sacraments. This should be a great comfort to us all.